Ending to that story. Thanks, Cynthia. The polls are still open, of course, but as Allison Bruner shows us now, one group is not expected to show up today in large numbers, right? That's right, Justin. Well, we are all things election here on the now, Casey, including online and on air. You can get the latest online at KSHB slash the now as well. But I can tell you, statistics show one out of four voters under the age of 30 will vote today. But with that said, when I was over at UMKC today, well, every student I talked with told me, well, they had plans to vote or they already voted. Well, whether or not the millennials will play an important role for sure tonight with this election. UM at KC student Jessica Miller knows firsthand the importance of making her vote count. I think it's really important for us to get in, put our voice in. Political expert Dr. Beth Vanami stressing the importance of getting more young voters like Jessica. It's also the case that the first time you vote is really critically important, and after that, you're more likely to participate. So if young people can vote once, they'll become habitual voters. A new poll by Harvard University found a greater number of voters between the ages of 18 and 29 said they were Democrats, but the active voters, or the ones who will actually cast their ballot, favor Republicans. With low voter turnout, really close elections, every vote can be really important to determining the outcome. For Jessica, voting in this year's midterm election is more than just a vote. It's shaping her future career in teaching. I'm going to be a teacher myself, so I'm going to school for. Um, I don't agree with it at all. I'm trying to take away teachers' tenure and teaching just to the test and not teaching to the student. Now, one reason I'm told for poor voter turnout for young voters is because many adults, well, they're not homeowners. They haven't started a business or don't have kids yet in school. They really haven't had much experience with our government. Of course, you can follow the latest online on our website. Of course, we will be tracking all things election tonight, right, Justin? Hey, yes, big night of coverage yes. uh, all night long on the website and here on air. Thanks, Allison. The polls in Kansas close at 7 tonight, but Garrett Hake is